Hello and welcome to this video on how to create stairs. In this view I have created a floor on the ground floor and I have another floor on the first floor and I want to connect the two floors by adding some stairs. So first I will go to the ground floor view and to add the stairs I will go to the architecture menu and select stair. And the first way I will show it is by clicking on stair by component. And in properties, we can see that the base level is set to the ground floor and the top level is set to the first floor and we don't have an offset, so this is okay. And if we scroll down a bit, then we can see the, that the number of rises is set to 18, which will give a riser height of uh, 166.67 millimeters and also the the depth of the thread is set to 280 and we need to make sure that these uh, dimensions will meet the requirements from the Danish building regulations and for example if um, the riser is too high we can add the number of, um, of rises and we can see that the height will lower but this you have to check in, uh, in the building regulations and then to start drawing the stairs, I will just click at the starting point of the ground floor and just drag a line. And if I go to the 3D view, then we can see that we have a stair going from the ground floor to the first floor. So we will accept it. And then the next step is to create an opening within the first floor. So I'll just go to the first floor view. And to create an opening, again I will go to the architecture menu and select the opening and I want to select the vertical opening. And now I just need to click on the floor where I want to create the opening, so I'll just click on the first floor and select the rectangle to draw the opening. Let's just draw it something like this. And I will accept it. And if we go to the 3D view, we can see that we now have an opening. But if I go back to the floor plan and make a section through the stairs, then we can see that the opening, I placed it um, before the stairs, so of course I want, want it to connect to the stairs. So in this case I can select the Align tool, which is right here. And I want the stairs to move to the opening, so I will click on the edge of the opening and then on the stair. And just lock it. And the next step is to make sure that the height um, below the, the floor is good enough compared to the dem demands from the building regulations. So I need to make sure that, that this height is okay and you can check this within the building regulations. So if I just go back uh, to the ground floor, then I will show another way to make uh, some stairs. And again, we will go to the architecture menu, select stairs. And this time we will select stair by sketch. And again, we can see that the base level is set to the ground floor and the top level to the first floor. So this is all right. And then I will just start to sketch. So something like this. And let me just accept it and go to the 3D view. Then we have another type of stair. And again, we can see that it goes all the way to the first floor, so this is okay. So of course also here we want to create an opening and we do this the same way as um, with the other stair. So we'll go to the first floor and then select the vertical opening and we want to select the floor and select the rectangle to draw the opening. Accept it. 
and let's go to the 3D view. Now we see that we have the opening, but again we also want to move the stairs so it will connect to the opening. So I will go back to the ground floor and just draw a section arrow. And again I want to use the align tool. So this is just the principle of how to create openings and how to create the stairs in Revit. And you can see that we get the railing set on automatically. But let's say this uh, part is uh, next to a wall, so then we will not need the railing. We can just click on it and then hit delete. And then it will just keep the railing on the other side. 